Welcome to the first annual Negro Solstice Day Awards with your host, me, and your co-host, Jackie East, also known as the Super Jumper. She says she's very excited to be here with y'all. If you haven't guessed it, my power is that I can speak to animals and they can speak back to me telepathically. My powers came in yesterday. Okay, let's get this show on the road. So, today, Glow and Peace presents the Negro Solstice Day Awards and Honorable Mentions. I have the memory of Dory from uh, Finding Nemo, so I had to write everything down and have my notes ready. This was more of an impromptu video. I, I don't know how I could forget Jupiter and Saturn aligning today. I don't know how I could forget that, but I, I didn't realize it was today today. So we have to acknowledge and honor those who have their powers, who've had their powers and didn't even tell us because, you know, those black people that had powers and didn't even tell us, uh, they were just trying to save us the embarrassment. They didn't want us to feel bad. So we have a few awards today that we'll be going over. This is from the Council of Glow and Peace. Every council will have different awards, but this is the most official council uh, for the Negro Solstice Awards. Let's get into it. For number one, the Supersonic Singing Award goes to no other than Chloe and Miss Halle Bailey. Um, what can I say? They are amazing. They can sing. They took their tennis court and slayed us all during this quarantine. I'm, I don't like coronavirus, who does? But they, they didn't come to play this quarantine. They slayed us all. I, they're amazing. Their, their harmonies are so amazing that they resound in the heavens. If you disagree, you can keep that wrong opinion to yourself. The council and I, we already decided that they have won the Supersonic Singing Award. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. I rest my case. Number two, the Science and Development Award goes to Mrs. Henrietta Lacks. Now, if you don't know, Mrs. Henrietta Lacks had her cells unknowingly harvested, unknowingly taken, and her cancer cells, and her cells, well, well, her cells were used to study cancer. They were the only cells that continue to divide and multiply, and now she is the basis at which we study cancer and cancer cell and cancer biology, cancer cells and cancer biology. She is amazing. Even though they, it was very unethical what they did, black women are amazing. I'll say that and I'll say it again. She rightfully deserves the Science and Development Award because her family to this day was never compensated for that injustice. Yes, we know what it's used for. Yes, all the advantages. Yes, we it, her, her cells also helping uh, cancer treatment and development, but I'm a molecular and cell bio major. A lot of the things I've studied, we come from her cells. So of course, she. it's time for her to get the respect and honor that she deserves. I rest my case. Number three, the Comedic Honors Award. This award goes to none other than Kevin and Melissa Fredericks, aka Mr. and Mrs. Kev on stage. Now, if you don't know who they are, go on YouTube, go on pretty much every social media page, you'll find out who they are. Kev on stage is a hilarious comedian. He's, I don't know if it, it's a Christian comedian. He's a comedian who's a Christian. He is hilarious. He is funny. The thing about him, yes, there's so many funny, hilarious comedians. What stands out, and th the reason why he was given this award, is because of how resourceful he has been. If you look, he created an app. A whole app. 
He created a whole app. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it right here. This is his app. He also, during this quarantine, he has keep your distance comedy shows. He said, listen, not only is he doing it for himself, he's putting other black comedians on. Rather than waiting for Netflix and Hulu and somebody else to give him an opportunity, he's creating opportunities. This is why he gets this award. And I have to include Mrs. Mrs. Kevin Sage, uh, Melissa, because we know without her, without her support and creativity, he wouldn't be where he is. So I can't include one without the other. You'll notice that he is the only black man in this award ceremony. That's because black men are partially canceled this year. They are canceled this year. If you look, I know you're probably thinking, why? Why? Just look, you'll see, you'll see. And if you disagree with me, you're probably colorist and you need to check yourself. I said what I said. The Athletic Achievements Award goes to Simone Biles. Simone Biles is amazing. She is the most decorated gymnast in the world. She swept the floor through all the, for, for her, I think it was her first Olympics in 2016. She swept the floor. She has done, she has her own move that, um, no one else is able to do it, only her. They weren't even thinking about banning it because it was the only move. She was the only person allowed to do that move. And full. And when she does it right, it is unreal. And as well done as anybody, man or woman, has competed in. Oh. <laughs> Money. Simone Biles rightfully deserves the Athletic Achievements Award. Um, oh, okay. Now we have the Bend and Snap Award. This award goes to Talia Debrett Barnett, aka FKA Twigs. By the way, I didn't know that was her real name. I just looked it up. But yes, the Bend and Snap. If you don't know, FKA Twigs is a great singer. But not only is she a great singer, not only is she a great performer, but this woman, she is Miss Flexible. She is a jack of all trades. I think she fences, she does martial, or she, she does, not fencing, but she does sword, um, martial arts. She's a great pole dancer. She's also, she started off in ballet and, and she still does. She's amazing. Everything she does, she perfects and masters and she makes it her own. She has her own really cool, unique, I wanna say Afro-futuristic with a tinge of opera. She just has her very own unique futuristic aesthetic and she is great on the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a video right here. Y'all see this? She is amazing. This is why she gets the Bend and Snap Awards. Hers, everyone, you'll find a lot of bendy black people, okay? You'll find a lot of bendy black women, but there's a reason why she got this award. She got this award because she's that girl. Now we have honorable mentions, but hold on, keep watching because then we have the Solstice Award, which is the all important award. For honorable mentions, we have Meg Thee Stallion. If you don't know who she is, I can't help you there. Um, she's amazing. I, I shouldn't have to explain myself. If you don't know, that's embarrassing for you. Quinlan Blackwell, she is the old, one of the OGs of Vine and TikTok. She is hilarious. Her really wiry crackhead personality coupled with her flexibility and her beauty all come together to form such a unique personality. She's that girl. She's that girl, if you don't know her, she's the backbone of Vine. She is the backbone of TikTok. I said what I said. Now we have Stephen Darby. Let's take an opposite turn. Stephen Darby is a pastor. He passed away back in 2017. If you don't know who he is, please go watch. And you're a black person? Even if you're not a black person, but especially if you're a black person, I will link a video or I will, yep, I'll link the video in the, de in the description box, uh, a few videos that you probably should watch and one day I'll make a video on him. If you don't know who he is, 
please go watch his videos. His content is amazing. It's not the typical, oh, just, you know, if you do this, then you'll be saved or, you know, learn how to forgive. It's not the typical fluff, not fluff, but it can be fluff because you hear it so often. It's not the typical messages that you would see. He is a pastor unto himself. And then, of course, my parents, Angela and Patrick East, without them, you would not have these, you wouldn't have anyone to present the Negro Solstice Awards now, would you? I think not. My best friend, Janaya, I love you, girly. I think you're watching this too. Um, I love you. She is my best friend in the whole wide world. And she's Jackie's aunt. And last but not least, the Solstice Award has to go to no other than Chadwick Boseman. His death still hurts a lot for me um, and for everyone. It was so sudden and obviously he had to know his time was running short when he made Black Panther. He knew his impact will last generations. Soon there will be a biopic about him. He has played everyone from Jackie Robinson to Thurgood Marshall to James Brown and of course T'Challa the Black Panther. He was a superhero on and off screen, a legend. He will go down in the books as being one of the greatest, act, act, not just Black act, the greatest actors of all time. He will be so dearly missed the way he brought dignity and grace to every role he played. You can tell there are some actors that do things for the money, that do things for the clout. And then there are others who do things because, who act because they love their craft. They love what they do. They love to study. They love to get behind their characters and truly become them and do the characters justice. And he was that. He was an amazing actor and he will be dearly missed. And that is why he is presented with the oh so important Solstice Award. That concludes the Negro Solstice Awards. If you're watching this, if you made it this far, thank you for watching this. If you have any other recommendations for who should have been in the awards, if you wanted someone else to be, let me know in the comments if, you know, someone else, if you have a completely different award category that, you know, should have been included, Put that in the description box. If you agree or disagree with uh, who the Glowing Peace Council decided to be, uh, decided to award these awards and honorable mentions, put it in the comments. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe if you want to. You know, it's up to you. And we'll see you in the next video.